Hi and welcome back to this series. Uh, this is part three of a playbook to secure your Amazon AWS infrastructure with Centrify and Active Directory. And we're focusing on the best practices of using Amazon's identity and access management capabilities. And uh, we're not only going to try to meet or exceed the needs that are defined by them. If we look at what they uh, prom promote as the best practices, um, Amazon AWS provides a very powerful identity management capability. They recommend to create individual identity and access management users and use groups to assign permissions. But let's talk about the challenges here. The biggest challenge is the, what we call dual administration, right? So it's possible that as an organization, you already have an internal directory, right? Uh, but if you engage in managing individual users, groups, entitlements, and all that stuff in EC2, you're basically doing dual administration, right? So what we're trying to promote here is not only the use of the best practices with uh, Amazon AWS, but leverage something that it comes with it. Uh, which is the ability to use an identity provider. And Centrify Identity Service is a great tool because not only it allows access through your internal AD, but also um, will allow you to use uh, identity sources like Centrify's uh, identity, identity directory in the cloud, other active directories, internal open LDAP-based directories, uh, Google for Work, social identity, and even it can be the service provider in a federation uh, relationship. So the key here, and this is the proposed solution, right? We're going to be using Active Directory as the single source of truth, and we're going to uh, enable EC2 to be the service provider. And, uh, uh, I, a Centrify Identity Service will be the identity provider, but the identity source will be Active Directory on-premises. This is all enabled by the Centrify Cloud Connector uh, that is just a connector that can sit behind your firewall um, and even in your private network behind a proxy, and it provides the bridging capabilities. So um, what are the enhanced objectives here? Not only to eliminate the duplication of effort, uh, by managing um, Amazon Identity Management individually, but also to continue to consolidate processes, right? So you can use an, a security groups in AD uh, to be the conduits for entitlements uh, on those. You can also use Centrify Identity Service roles. Um, you also are going to delight your users because they're going to get SSO. And you can provide advanced controls like multi-factor authentication, like uh, workflow and approvals, like limiting access only from the internal network. Those are not only enough controls to meet, but exceed the requirements for any modern uh, organization. And I'm hoping that this series is uh, um, you know, constructive and follow along with the blog uh, because we're also providing instructions on how to do this as well.